How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, Ringo Flats. Back again with some more Pokemon, uh, Shining Pearl, and uh, we've successfully destroyed the gym leader. And I uh, guess we need to f probably find uh, Xerxes, see where we're going next. Although I think I did say I want to go and look through some of these buildings and see what they have to show me in here. Rourke is the user of Rock-type Pokemon. Don't you think Rock-type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. Yeah, I'd say I guess that's just that's, that's something to admire about them. Rourke is their town. Yeah. So all y'all have to talk about is just the dude. Uh, this looks interesting over here. Welcome to the museum. Yep. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils, me right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I'm doing chief as extraction from fossils. Stop sending me Snapchats while I play. I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. Is it, is it free? Usually it's not free in these games. It's a big old rock, man. Wow, the Pokemon that carried this must be terribly strong. Whoa, so this is coal? Never expected something that's so big. Samples of coal from different regions are displayed. This box can hate categorized samples of coal. Everyday item of the tools of past mine workers are displayed. Badly scarred wooden tools are on display. They apparently dug out coal using these tools in the olden days. And different kinds of lamps are displayed. They all appear to have been worn on someone's head while the person is underground. Oh, the life. How coal is made, part three. Oh, wait, we should probably start with number one. In a time long before history, vegetative matter has swept along by rain rivers and came to be buried under the ground. The buried plant matter was forced even deeper underground due to tremors and fissures caused by the shifting land masses. Wow. How coal was made, part three. Deep underground, the plant matter was subjected to heavy pressure and heat of magma. It magically, gradually turned into coal, and sometimes that coal was pressurized even more and turned into diamond. Well, how about that? Orberg Mine extends under the seafloor. That is pretty cool. I guess we can go back to that, uh... Oh, well, did I teach Rock Crush to anything? No, I don't need to use it. Now I'm just looking through stuff and wasting y'all's time. Nice. A lot of zeros. Okay, uh... I guess we need to go get, uh, we need to go teach. I guess we can take freaking Geodude with us. Someone's PC. Not mine, but someone's. <laughs> Alright, come on, Geo dude.
Yep. Yorp. Good job, Gia, dude. Now you might actually have a use. Oh, can I not use them on that? Can I not use them on that? Rock, not that type. Only a different type. Probably not actually nothing back there. City of Energy. Oh, that man has a bike. I want a bike. I probably shouldn't be entering these people's homes. Listen, listen, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for an Abra? Okay, well. That's a, not a bad trade. So you gotta talk to people, because a lot of people will trade. Some people will give you Pokemon. What do you say? You know what? I'm gonna go back to the cave and try to catch a zoo bat and see what he does. Maybe catch him a chop. Let's us train our Pokemon in the mine. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from them all. Gym leader and just like, yeah, okay. Thanks for telling me stuff I already know! Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. A dusk ball, thank you! Being a Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. He named our Psyduck yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Duck. <laughs> I love you, Psyduck. I'm sorry, I lie. Your trader case, the chip badge. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Whoops, we get it. You got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? Uh -oh. So, yeah, I went uh, Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna gym badge. 10 seconds before I dash, died. Bah, who got the time to count? Man, he's so annoying. Sometimes I just want to punch him in the face, you know what I'm saying? Smash. Wait, Bidoof knows? Did I grab? Oh, did, can I just teach it to a Pokemon? I don't have to keep them. Cause it said Bidoof did that, and I don't think Bidoof knows Rock Smash. Hold on, we're gonna go test real quick. We're going back in here. I'll pause it so I don't waste time. Hold on. I just don't understand. I, I just don't understand. I guess you, I guess you don't need to take the Pokemon with you that has it. That's cool. Well, I still don't understand. I just went and checked on Bidoof and he doesn't have, he doesn't know Rock's Smash type of thing. Unless he's just like, he actually, he does know it like on his own. What do you have to say? Oh, good golly. It's all big city's gym badge. All right. Now you can use the hidden move Rock Smash on small boulders. That's crazy. I need a Geodude. 
I need a... I need a whatchamacallit. I need a Zubat. And if I can catch a Machop, that would also be cool. I would like to trade him a Chop for a, uh, uh, Abra. So that means I just need to get Fly. I don't need, I don't need to keep, uh... I don't even need to keep what's, uh, his face. Or, it might be a her. What's Flappo? Is Flappo a boy? Yep, yeah, Flappo's a boy. I just, I don't even need to keep Flappo if I can just teach him. I guess I didn't even need to teach him the move, because I didn't teach it to G. Or I guess I did teach it to Geo, dude. But it just let Bidoof do it. We'll find out. Dang it. I want a bat, dang it. See how good Peck is. Peck. The target is jabbed with the sharply pointed beak or horn. Power 35. With pounds, power 40. What's its speed attack? I don't know. Speed attack is just on based on. I guess we could replace Pound with that. I don't think that would be too bad. Make him more bird-like. Go, Badoof. This is here. This is what you were built for. I'm gonna go around and smash every rock on this level. I don't even have to worry about it. Flash. What's what's that move? User flashes a light that lowers the target's accuracy. It can also be used to illuminate caves. That's kind of cool. That's a good one to have. I don't know if I want to replace that. Definitely not Thundershock. Yeah. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, we need to catch this little bastard. Yeah, please don't kill him instantly. Okay, good. Great. Night, Newt, Newt. Now, how are you gonna pack yourself? Use a normal Pokeball on the Zubat. Yeah, 
Yay, flap I leveled up. Oh, he's so beautiful. No, since I'm gonna just be, I guess, trading him to that person. I mean, he wants one, so. Alright, now I don't need two. God dang it, I'm not fighting another Zubat. Okay, I'll do it. Swap Pokemon, though. Pretty astonishing. But watch this. So I'm going up against water type, so I'm gonna need to make sure that I uh that I uh use that other move that like charges up my electrical attack. I could, I might need a water type Pokemon to get through here. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, cool. We came down here though. Let's go trade that Zubat to that man. Better be a Machop. No. Now, do you catch Machops in caves? I think you do, right? That won't save you. Does that like, hold on, let me check. Does that like use the TM? No? Oh, that's a different, why do I have five of those? Let's see what this man, oh, was it him up here? No, other building. Let's see if this man trades us for his Zubat. Now, if you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? If that does it. I'll go out and catch Pokemon too. I thought he was going to trade me some another Pokemon, but I guess I'll do Alright, Zubat, you're going back to the machine. No. No. Go down the stairs. Now 
Um, should I go up the route that's over here and I'll just pause it and grind that and then come back at the end of this episode? What time is it? 20? Yeah, I'll do I'll do that. I'll see y'all when I'm uh, back at Orberg City after going up that route. Look what I got. Nice. Let's go get ourselves an Abra. No. I didn't say I wanted to go in there. Don't ever assume. Beautiful. We saw how much he kicked the ass of uh, my Pokemon. I'm sure it'll be good if I have my, one of my own. I'll take very good care of him. I'm, you know, I'm even going to use him. I'm not going to put him up in the box. Level 9 already. That's a great trade. And he's got a berry on him. You're gonna go far, kid. You're gonna go far. What are psychics good against? Hold on. Apparently water and electric type. What are... Strong against. Fighting and poison type. Weak against bug, dark, and ghost type. Okay. What's the difference between ground type and, uh, I guess actually I do know the difference between ground and, uh, uh, rock type. Ground type would be like sand shrew, right? Good. Good thing to have. I've already fought all these people. Alright, let's see if we can find, uh... Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, we got a impeccable timing, as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Regatta, let's, or, Regatta, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. Yeah, this is where Team Galactic makes an appearance, isn't it? Sorry, Wurmple. Actually, no, yeah, I'll take the Zubat. Good job. Oh, you need to use it. 
I knew I didn't even kill any Pokemon there. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing the children? This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. You got a thousand dollars for winning. You leave us no option. We'll retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we should leave. Eh. So, they call them. Yeah, no, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon of all, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Ringetta, well done. You're battled quite capably. Seeing your trainers battle a side by side with such with the Pokemon only makes me more confident. I can't read text. And my decision to entrust you with the Pokedex. Ringetta, did you know that the professor studies or, Ringetta, did you know that the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some unexpected Pokemon must undergo evolution too. So, Ringetta, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you liked this episode... Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! I can't do that voice. Those guys look awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Yeah, that was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Bibi, and I work as a system administrator in Hartholm City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll sh let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give these ball capsules to you. You got ball capsules. <laughs> now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule. It'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will also give you an edge in the Super Contest shows where I live in Hearthrom City. Hearthome. Hearthome City. So try to collect a bunch. So anyway, see you later. Okay, finally, thank you all for watching. If you liked this episode, be sure and hit that like button. And if you really liked it, be sure and hit that subscribe button. You can find my Instagram down in the description below. And with that, have a good day.